Yeah, g'day. And today we're going to be taking a look at my 3DS collection. Um, I'm shooting this straight after I did my Wii collection, so uh, I've got a little bit of extra time, so yeah, I thought, why not? <laughs> so here we go. Um, Mario Kart 7. Oops, might pay if I put it in the shot properly. Um, what's there to, that hasn't already been said about Mario Kart? Um, Mario Kart's awesome, and this game is no different. I believe this is the first Mario Kart to feature the hand glider uh, mechanic, which is great. And I think it was the first, if not one of the first, to use custom parts. Um, actually, no, it's not the first. The one for DS was the first. This one just sort of made a little bit more in depth. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. A lot of fun times online with this one. Next we have... The Ocarina of Time 3D, The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time 3D. Um, again, I'm not a huge Zelda fan, but um, I like this one. It's got nice graphics. Uh, there's The Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. Obviously, this is graphically superior in the sense that, you know, they've got the 3D mechanic as well. It just makes everything pop. And um, it's, yeah, I, again, I just need the motivation to be able to finish a Zelda game. So yeah, um, it's not a bad game though. Super Mario 3D Land. Um, this is a awesome 3D Mario adventure. Uh, we hadn't really seen any of the, uh, like a 3D Mario game for a while after um, Galaxy, I think. So it was good to see like a like a 3D Mario platformer to a handheld system. Um I think, yeah, it's because uh, Nintendo went on this massive binge of new Super Mario Brothers games, and they just that's all they were doing, and so it's really good to see them do like like a three D Mario game for a handheld. So yeah, this is really fun. You got the raccoon tail again. Um, you got the Tanuki suit. Uh, there's some really cool power ups in this game. It's a very uh, welcoming sort of game to the uh, Super Mario 3D world for the Wii U. If you haven't played that, then this is a good way to sort of get an introduction to that. Um, but yeah, I mean, all, all those games are just really it's like, sort of like family friendly and like beginner friendly sort of games. So yeah, I like it. Super Mario 3D Land. Great. Animal Crossing New Leaf. Had a lot of good times with this back in the day. Uh, my cousin would come over to my town and um, that was good times. And then, yeah, I got a copy for my sister and my niece as well on their 3DSs. Um, so, yeah, we could all play together. And uh, it was really neat. Uh, had a lot of good times. And, yeah, it's sort of the... If you're don't, not familiar with the Animal Crossing series, the time in the game is the same time as real life or the time that you're, you've got on your 3DS, which is usually the time in real life, you know? So, um <clears throat> Yeah, it's really awesome. So if the if, the, if it's like eight p.m. at night in real life, it'll be eight p.m. at night in the game, and all the shops will be closed, and you can't buy anything. But yeah, <laughs> uh, you got to wait till the next morning and stuff. And if you haven't played for a few days, and the villagers kind of start to miss you and stuff, and if you haven't played for like a few months, then <laughs> your your little uh, house starts to look really crappy, and you've got like roaches running around. And your plants die and all this horrible stuff but it's really fun um i highly recommend animal crossing if you have never heard of it and you know you're, you're thinking about picking up a, a 3ds or even an original nintendo ds um has animal crossing and it's just hours of fun um like you never know what you might miss if you don't pick it pick up the game and play so very cool <sighs> pokemon y um Got Pokemon X in here somewhere too. Um, I'm not, like, again, I'm not a massive Pokemon freak. <laughs> uh, but I have dabbled in it in the day. Like, some people are just way, like, real hardcore. And I respect them and everything. But I just, I don't have time to invest in stuff like that. I just kind of want to quickly jump in and play and then jump off, you know. Um, but, yeah, Pokemon is very cool. I did collect quite a few back in the day. And, uh, yeah, had a few good times battling friends and stuff. Usually got my ass kicked, but, yeah, it was pretty good times. <clears throat> Oops. Pump the camera. 
Um, so yeah, uh, this is Epic Mickey, Power of Illusion. Um, this is a very underrated game. Um, if you've played any of the Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion or Mickey Mouse Land of Illusion for the Sega Master System, um, those are really fun platform games. And so is this. Um, obviously this uses the touchscreen mechanic that's on the, the DS, the 3DS. Uh, but it is a illusion game nonetheless. And uh, all your old Disney favorites are in here. You've got Aladdin. You've got like Maleficent. Um, she's <laughs> the, one of the yeah, the bad guys, I think. And uh, you've got like Beauty and the Beast. You've got like all these classic characters like Hook, um, Jafar. Um, so yeah, it's it's really awesome to see uh, like all your Disney favorites in a game. So I think Hercules is even in it and Peter Pan and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's quite cool. I haven't finished it yet, I don't think, but it's a wonderful game. I love it. So uh, Mario Party Island Tour. This game is pretty sweet. You've got um, you can use one cartridge. And you can have uh, three other friends join in and play with you just off the one cart. And it's a heck of a blast. I think if you've got, if everyone has a cart each, then I think you get more stuff. But um, I think the main, the main, um, no, it looks like you can just, you get everything if you're just playing off the one cartridge, which is cool. Um, yeah, one card, four players. So yeah, that's really neat. So if you've only got one you only need to buy one copy and it can everyone can join in and have a fun time. Yeah, it's really awesome. Uh, so for those that aren't familiar with Mario Party, basically it's like a board game and you uh, it, when everyone's had a turn, it goes to a mini game and whoever wins the mini game gets like a massive payout. And yeah, it's really cool. Sometimes you get a star if you win the mini game and... Um, you could collect as many stars as you possibly can to win the game. So, well, actually, yeah, I think maybe the stars are on the board. I can't remember. Depending on, yeah, uh, sorry, I'm really clueless. I haven't played these for a while, but the mini games are fun. That's all I can I can definitely confirm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, depending on what Mario Party you have, I guess, um, yeah, you win a you win a star. That's right. You only win coins when you do mini games. So I was right about that. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah. Mario Party Island Tour. Awesome game. Kid Icarus Uprising. Um, this game is really cool too. This is... Uh, like, oh, it looks brilliant in 3D. Uh, it's got a really fun multiplayer mode. And you, you could play online. Um, I'm surprised they haven't released a Kid Icarus for the uh, Switch. But... And I don't think we ever will. This is from the same team that brought you Super Smash Bros. So there's even a Super Smash Bros. reference in this game. Like it's got really quirky humor. The cutscenes are hilarious in a lot of ways. Like Pit's just this bumbling idiot. The main character is Pit, and um, he uh, he's just this bumbling idiot. And uh, it's kind of funny. Like everything's done kind of like an anime style. And I'm not a huge fan of anime, but I absolutely love this game. Um, I'm pretty sure I did finish it. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, it's a hell of a fun game. It came with these AR cards where um, you can have, depending on their stats, you can have them. Oh, I haven't opened these ones, but I do have opened ones. Dang it. Give me that. Yeah. Right, these are them here. So you put them on the, flat on the table and you get your 3DS and you like use the camera to look through it and like Pit will jump up out of the card and you'll like, he'll be floating on your table. And it's just so cool. You can have like uh, Lady Palutena and stuff, Goddess Palutena, and she will, uh, she will like. You can have them both sort of like fight against each other or whatever. It's really a cool idea. I'm surprised I didn't do that with Pokemon. I reckon that would have gone off, man. It would have been awesome. Kid Icarus, yeah. It's kind of like a, a different game. You don't really walk around as Kid Icarus as such. You kind of like a. One of those automatic scrolling flying games sort of thing, but 3D, it's going like that way. And um, yeah, you, you just got to use your stylus to move the cursor around where you're aiming, but you use the stick on the, you have to, it's, it's really punishing for a left-hander. I'm a left-hander, so it's kind of hard for me. Um, but you could get this attachment. Um, <laughs> this freaking thing here. So you could use 
you could use the like stick on the right and use this as the stylus but i've got an xl so this is useless to me now absolutely useless but it's it's very um it's quite cool like i just had to try and train myself to do it right-handed and it was very punishing but i got there and uh <laughs> yeah it's quite a lot of fun so you just use the stick to control pit and you use the stylus to aim where you shoot and you use the shoulder button to fire so and then there's like a, when it does the flying segment that's over with you usually um you're on foot and you walk around a little bit but it's not mainly walking around it's like yeah and then after you've done the walking around you end up fighting a boss and it goes it goes from those three modes it's a hell of a good game sonic generations so this is a kind of a weird game um obviously the whole point was to combine modern sonic with classic sonic um i like it i like the original one for the uh, ps3 and xbox and oh, xbox 360 i think it was um and and pc i've got it on pc as well it's a totally different game this is like all kind of mainly 2d based and you'd think i'd like that but um because i love 2d sonic but uh I don't know. I actually really like, you don't faint, guys. I actually really do like the three D Sonic um, levels in Sonic Generations. It's actually cool, and they did a really good job of it. Um, but yeah, there's some bosses like that water one. That's a real pain in the butt. I was just talking to my friend about that recently, and uh, uh, GMC Games, Comics, and Movies are us. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He. Um, he's been playing a lot of sonic games lately and uh yeah um sonic generations i, I really enjoy it for the most part uh this the 2d sonic levels are kind of like ho-hum like it doesn't feel like 2d sonic he's not really 2d sonic it's like a 3d model of sonic but in his classic form and it, he looks cool i like the way he looks it's it's cool <laughs> um but yeah i <laughs> i know a lot of people like the modern one and stuff but i just i just don't i can't warm to it it makes my skin crawl. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but anyway, that's Sonic Generations. It's all mainly 2D in this one, and I don't really... I don't know. It's all right. But, yeah. I actually used uh, footage of this in my short film I did, my two-minute short film called uh, Epic Story. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description, too. It's real cringy, so just, just watch out for that, guys. Uh, it's terrible. It's the kind of stuff that if you were to ever make it to Hollywood, which I'd never do, um, that like someone would dig up dirt on you and show that show that around. <laughs> it's that kind of that kind of film. Um, all right, so yeah, uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star. Haven't really played too much of this. I quite liked it for the sake of like the sticker mechanics give you different um, give you different stat boosts and things and. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I need to play it more. I, again, it's another game that just sits on my shelf and I need to play it. Um, help, Mario. I'm stuck. Oh, look at him. He's like upside down. <laughs> um, New Yoshi's Island or New Yoshi's Island. Um, yeah, I I got to say this this one, as adorable as this little character is, um, <laughs> I don't think... It's a very good game, guys. It's it's kind of trying to do too much and not sort of embrace the, you know, the simplicity of the original Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo. It's got these sort of horrible sort of um, mechanics where you use the, is it the gyroid thing in the, uh, in the 3DS, like you tap it sideways to move and, oh, it just... I don't know. It just it really breaks up the gameplay, it slows it down, and it's not fun. It's just not fun. Um, it's a shame because yeah, <laughs> it, like Yoshi you know, turns into like a helicopter and stuff, and and like that sounds cool, or a submarine. And it sounds cool, but it just isn't. Like it just doesn't work. Sadly, because I wanted to like this game, but yeah, I just can't. Luigi's Mansion Two now. I was really looking forward to this. It's not a bad game, I will add, but just the overall design of the ghosts in it, they just look like really quirky sort of Disney-esque 3D animation Disney sort of characters. And while well, that might be right up your alley, but to me, I really like the creepiness of the first one. I think it just looks great. 
Uh, this character here is adorable though, the little little dog. So uh, <laughs> yeah, Polter Pup, I think it's called. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this. I don't know if I've even finished Luigi's Mansion 2. It's quite difficult. But there's a really fun online multiplayer mode where you, you're all cruising around this haunted mansion together and you've got to, like, you can either verse each other to collect as many ghosts as you possibly can or something, or you can work against each other. I think it's mainly, I think it's mainly team-based, actually. Yeah. You just hunt ghosts together, and um, that's right, yeah. You all work together, but, like, uh, you'll go in separate rooms to try and find as many ghosts as you possibly can, and uh, sometimes this crazy stuff happens, like, you get... Um, like you get stuck to the wall or the, the floor or something, or like you get wrapped up in carpet or just something weird happens and uh, you got to get your other players to come rescue you. So it's, it's quite cool. It's like a actual like ghostbusters type game really. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's fun. And, and, and like, it's probably why I give it a thumbs up because of the, uh, the online mechanic and I'm not really a fan of online games, but um, yeah, it's actually quite cool. For a Luigi's Mansion game, though, I've got to say I really like the first one, even after I've played Luigi's Mansion 3, so. Um, Fire Emblem Awakening. This was really my only Fire Emblem game that I really, um, it was the first Fire Emblem game that I got my teeth into, and I, I love it to this day. It's fantastic. I'm just going to turn the light on, guys. It's getting a bit uh, dark in here. Hopefully that is a bit better. Um, yeah, so, yeah, uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. I've even got a uh, Lucina <laughs> uh, action figure. Uh, she's got, like, a stand and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, this was quite good, this game. For those that aren't familiar with Fire Emblem, it's like a turn-based strategy game where you've got, like, uh, you know, an army against, like, other armies and stuff, and... Uh, you kind of you pick what moves you want to do and you can train your other characters up so if you want someone to stop being a uh i mean they've all got their preferred um sort of positions like one would wants to be like a lancer or something but you're like oh no i want to train you up to be an archer so you're like you just give them a whole lot of experience with a bow or just you back that weak character up with stronger characters and then they get the experience points and uh yeah you basically just yeah strengthen them and then you can train them up in any any sort of uh, thing you want. <laughs> so it's quite awesome. Um, I think, yeah, there's even characters like breeding and stuff. So you can actually like, depending on uh, what character you have you get with or whatever, um, I, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure I've finished this game, but I can't remember too much about it. Again, I've just played too many games. Um, they all kind of merge into one. <laughs> but yeah, um, you can breed pretty much like the ultimate army. <laughs> Uh, you can, uh, but you can have different modes where there's like a mode where you play and like if your character dies, it doesn't come back or well, not your character, but like, you know, one of the characters you meet in the story, like once I did, that's it. Now that's some hard ass mode right there. Um, but yeah, I've, I haven't had the balls to play it on that yet, but I've, I started doing it on the switch recently, uh, with Fire Emblem Three Houses. So Fire Emblem Three Houses is cool too, but I'll get to that at my Nintendo Switch collection. Um, so we have Kirby Triple Deluxe. Uh, I originally bought a, this game for my niece and I was like, it actually looks really sweet. I want my getting my own copy. So I got my own copy of it and it plays like Kirby, um, Kirby's Adventure Wii. Um, but just a whole lot more comfortable on the 3DS and it looks brilliant. And, um, it's actually a lot more challenging. So... Yeah, if you want kind of more challenging uh, sort of Kirby adventure, I highly recommend this. This is kind of more for slightly experienced players. And uh, yeah, it looks like you can uh, you can play local play two to four players. Never done that before. Um, <laughs> oh, it looks like maybe you can just do the, the mini game, like the fighting Kirby fighters and uh, DDD drum dash. Uh, I don't, can't remember how to play that one. But yeah. So yeah, it's it's really awesome, fun game. <laughs> if you've played Kirby before, you know what to expect. Rayman, three D. Um, yeah, price to clear nine ninety eight, nine dollars and ninety eight cents. Uh, it's sad because this is actually quite fun. I haven't had the motivation to play 
any more than I have played. It is very hard. Um, some things work and some things don't. Um, the camera is absolutely hell um, to play with, but um, it is, you know, it's a pretty fun game. I love Rayman. Um, and, yeah, this is pretty sweet. I, I need to play more of it, to be honest with you. I think it's, like, it's basically Rayman 2 or something, but in 3D. Yeah. Um, Pokemon X. Um, yeah, uh, it's Pokemon. I mean, <laughs> I don't really have anything more to add than that, to be honest. Um, yeah, pretty good. I wanted, I got Pokemon Y, so I was like, why not get Pokemon X? Have best of both worlds. Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS. Um, this is the one that's also compatible with, uh, Super Smash Brothers Wii U. Um, I think you can use your, uh, like 3DS as a controller with this. It's got like a built-in sort of mode where you can use your 3DS as a controller, uh, for the Wii U version. Um, if you have a copy of this. So yeah, and a copy of the Wii U version, obviously. Um, but then there's like a standalone download to get a controller, um, for the Wii U, um, like a, like a controller app for the Wii U on, on the 3DS. So you don't actually have to have this game, but, um, it just helps if you do, because you can just jump straight into it. <laughs> so yeah, um, the graphics are slightly, like, obviously a lot more simplified for a handheld. Um, but like I was saying in my Wii, uh, like a look at my Wii games was that um, I quite like the black outline around the characters. I think that looks really cool. Um, it looks sort of like comic book esque, and I like that look. So yeah, it, it just works really well. Very fun game of Smash. And last but not least, we have New Super Mario Brothers Two for the 3DS. Now this, like I said in my uh, <laughs> my Wii collection. I said um, they went on a new Super Mario Brothers rampage and just like spat a whole bunch of new Super Mario Bros games out. Now I like new Super Mario Brothers. This is probably a really good one to start with if you're not familiar with uh, new Super Mario Brothers games. That and the one for DS, uh, just new Super Mario Brothers DS. Um, that one's really good too. So yeah, I mean, they're all kind of beginner friendly, I suppose. Nintendo does a really good job of that and really good job of explaining uh, the simplicity of the controls and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, if you want, if you got like a family or whatever, then you just use, uh, you'd probably all play the, the Wii version because you can all play on the couch at the same time. This has a co op mode if, you, if two people have a, the same copy. I've never played it yet, but I'd love to. It looks so much fun. <laughs> I'm guessing it's a lot like the uh, the Wii version, but um, obviously a lot smaller because you only play one extra player. But um, I love to be able to do that. It's going to be really fun. So yeah, this uh, the whole collect one million coins thing was a massive like gimmick. Uh, apparently, if you've managed to collect one million coins, nothing happens. You don't unlock anything, and yeah, it's just a massive disappointment. So. Yeah, that was the whole gimmick. You aim for one million coins. But uh, yeah, sadly, nothing happens. But yeah, it's still a good game nonetheless, and I recommend it, of course, because it's a Mario game. <laughs> so that is my 3DS collection, as you can see here. Um, it's not like a huge collection, but I like it for what it is. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's gone on for quite a while, so... Better wrap it up. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.